Hello and welcome back to my channel. Come here, Chunjon. Come here. I want you to do the video with me. Come here. Come here. Come on. Good girl. Come here. You can have it. It's cheese. It's cheese. Good girl. So yeah, I have a little friend here. All the dogs I know are so camera shy. So yes, you're camera shy. <laughs> yes. Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is like the worst setup, but Sherlock. Hola amigos. Moi kakaverit. <laughs> That's the Finnish version for you as well. Come here, Jum Jum, come here. Come. <laughs> okay, so in this video we're gonna talk about what Easter is like in Finland and um, and also go through some like Easter vocabulary and how we celebrate Easter in Finland usually. Did I say that already? Okay, so Easter in Finnish is Pasiainen. The, the preparation for Easter starts rather early, like at least two weeks early, because we want to grow our um, raeruoho, which is just like, you know, grass. So you plant the grass seeds into a soil, you know, whatever, like, container you may have and yeah and then you just uh, wait for it to grow and usually it's ready by Easter and then you can put like Easter decorations on the grass like Easter eggs or like little like chick decorations so the chicks are Pasiais Tipu and I guess all the words then kind of have that Easter um, <laughs> Easter word in, in, you know, the prefix. Um, I think that's the right word. And Easter egg is Pasias Muna. So Muna is egg. <laughs> Can also be something else, but let's not talk about that. And then this is the, you know, the fun part, I suppose. As a kid on a Palm Sunday, so a week before the, you know, the real um, Easter. Hello? Oh, yes, I'm recording. Welcome. Silence in the set, please. So, <laughs> yeah. What was I saying? On a, on a Palm Sunday, uh, the kids dress up as witches. <laughs> yeah. We dress up as witches and uh, we decorate like a pussy willow branch. So I guess you could just say a willow branch, but you know, it's the pajunkissa. So that just means willow cat. Kissa. Pajunkissa. Kissa is cat. Oh my god, are you opening those? Jesus Christ. Okay, anyway, thanks for ruining my video. <laughs> So yeah, so you would just find those willow branches in the forest and then you can decorate them with... Oh my god... You can decorate them with like colorful feathers or, you know, the crispy kind of decorative paper thingy um, or put whatever you want, um, you know, it's not so strict because it's art. So then you would go basically door to door with those branches dressed up as a witch and you would knock on people's doors and say this riddle that goes virvon varvon tuoreeks terveeks tulevaks vuodeks vitsa sulle palkka mulle and that means in english i did actually google it because i didn't want to like do a bad translation of that so Hold on, my cousin is ringing me. Okay, sorry. Where was I? So, I think I left off at the little uh, riddle. <laughs> the translation goes like... Oh, I think you can actually see the book. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, the translation <laughs> of that goes... 
I wave a twig for a fresh and healthy year ahead. A twig for you, a treat for me. So basically, um, the person will take the twig from you uh, or the branch and then uh, they will give you like Easter eggs or uh, money. So yeah, it's fun. And I will also insert a video of my cousin's baby um, dressed up as a witch. And also, he's not really a baby anymore. He's two. So yeah. Okay, so yes, so an Easter witch in Finnish is Pasia is noita and pas did I say Pasia is pupu already? So that's Easter bunny and Pasia is tipu that was Easter chick and Pasia is kukko is Easter rooster cock. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Easter flowers in Finnish, like daffodil, is narcissi, so almost like a narcissist, but not. You could also have tulips, tulpani, in Finnish. So yeah. So anyway, yeah. So some foods that we would typically, some foods that we would typically have on Easter would be mammi. So mammi is kind of how it sounds like not so appealing i guess so it's like this finnish easter pudding made of like rye flour and malt 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 you know and yeah it's like a type of dessert and you can also have it with like cream but not like whipped cream but actually just like raw cream yeah I don't like that, I am never like that, but then again, I don't really like typical Finnish foods in general, I guess, so, apart from the Karelian pasties. So then you would also probably have some lamb, and that's quite typical, and then Pasha. So I also googled this, so Pasha is I thought actually Pasha was like commonly known, but I just asked my Portuguese boyfriend if he knew what Pasha is and he doesn't know that, so I guess it's not that typical. So it's a um, creamy colored pudding made of sweetened homemade cheese, eggs, cream and seasonings left overnight to solid solidify. Yeah, it's from like Orthodox Christianity, I guess it says. On my notes from Google so that's obviously then accurate because anything on the internet is accurate and true so anyway and of course we have also this kind of like famous traditional Easter egg that's called mi mi mingon <laughs> Fuck. it's called mingon muna so like ming mingon mignon I don't know Mignon chocolate egg uh, and it's basically the size of like a normal, you know household egg you will have the The shell like the normal egg shell on it, but inside you have that like this delicious chocolate um, that's kind of like you know, very creamy and delicious, but as a kid it was super annoying to peel the um, the shell off it because it's not super easy to get off, but it's delicious. Oh yeah, chocolate egg also is suklamuna. So, you know how like in Ireland or in the UK or whatever, um, eggs are massive like this. In Finland, Easter eggs are not like that. They are small, so they're like either tiny that you would like hide around the house <laughs> this video is going so well <laughs> yeah there would be like smaller eggs typically um, the tiny ones or like you know medium size but not the huge ones so I never had a huge Easter egg until I was an adult and moved to Ireland so yeah so yeah I am um, I guess this is kind of like the video I probably forgot a lot of things but this is just I wanted to give you an idea of the the dressing up as 
which things because yeah, that's that was the fun thing to do as a kid, uh, dressing up as a witch for Easter and uh, decorating those willow branches and going door to door. I would have decorated one for this video, but I couldn't actually find one in the nature and yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something new and I hope you liked it. And um, I will see you in the next video. So bye, 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 bye. Adios, amigos. Muy cacaverit. And maybe I will take a, just a piece of John John here as well. Hello, little John John. Hey. Good girl, yes.